Yo, what's good? Stay tuned to the end of the video. We got a signed copy of Harley Quinn Poison Ivy number one on deck. What's going on, comic fam? It's your boy, Jen Mint. Me and Comic Tom are here with another top 10 list. These are the hottest comic books that will define a generation. We have some newcomers to the list, and we have some ones that have been strong, staying in, holding their spots down. Tom, what do we got going on this week? We got a list filled with record breakers, comics that have moved on this list. Some have gone down. We got to get into it. But Comic Fam, hit the subscribe button. We keep you informed every single week. So you want to have your notifications on. And Jem, let's chat about a newcomer to this list at number 10. Yeah, Young Avengers number one. This is like the modern giant size X-Men in terms of all the first appearances that they have in this book. So this is the first appearance of the Young Avengers, which is the first appearance of Kate Bishop, who is Hawkeye's protege, later becomes Hawkeye. Yeah, Patriot, Iron Lad, which is really Kang. Hulkling, the son of Marvel and Anel, who's playing a huge role as the emperor of the Kree and Scroll and Marvel's Empire storyline. And we have Wiccan. This is making its way from the trending 20 to now on the hot 10 list. It's got a bunch of potential and first appearances. We have a recent spike in sales in 9.8. It's up from $285 last week to $490 for this book in a 9.8. In addition to the regular cover of this, there are several variants and other versions that you want to be on the lookout for. There is a Toy Biz reprint. There's a black and white Wizard World variant. There's a Director's Cut. And there is a super rare book. Some of you guys might remember these Wizard Red Label CGC 9.5 copies. There are, there are only 285 copies of this version. There haven't been any sales in weeks, but it's a very rare book that you want to be on the lookout for for Young Avengers. Wait, did you say a 9.5 copy? I thought the grading scale was 9.4 and 9.6. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, they had to find copies that were just that perfect balance in between 9.4 and 9.6. <laughs> well, Wizard wanted to do something. They call it like the first, right? They wanted it to be like the first of its kind. And they did a deal with CGC to release a set of 9.5 books. Do you think they actually had to like figure out which ones were in between those numbers? No, I think that they're really 9.8s, and they just kind of did this, like, um, novelty kind of thing for this promotion. Uh, they haven't done these Wizard World uh, slabs in a while. 285 of these exist, Jim? That's crazy. This may surprise us in the future if Young Avengers 1 pays off. Yeah, for sure. Rumors are resurfacing right now that Haley Steinfeld will play Kate Bishop in the Disney Plus Hawkeye series. So there's a lot of renewed interest in this book that has a lot of potential for other characters as well. Number nine on this list, we have a comic book that a lot of people have been watching for years now. And it's special because there's basically been no actual news behind it. We have Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel, issue number one, a newcomer to this list, Jim. We have two big keys that have found their way, rising above the others, making an imprint on this list. And this is the first appearance of the Blue Marvel. And this is a powerful hero that has most of his story play out in the early 60s. He was part of the war and a character that is being specced on specifically right now for the Captain America show that's coming up, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now, this book has seen slowly climbs over the last year, but climbing up in the last months and hitting all new records, we're seeing 9.8s hit $1,500. And it's making the list now because we've seen these all-time records hit at a time where there still is no news and just delays for these shows. Yeah, nothing really concrete with this character. There's just very loose speculation about what's going to happen in the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, but a 9.8 fetching $1,500, that is definitely noteworthy. And we do know there are only 17,000 copies of this book. So nice when you know what the print run is. We were just talking about Young Avengers. Is the spec going to go towards the Patriot, which has more of an Isaiah Bradley connection? Or could we see more of a Blue Marvel connection? I don't know. Both comics are making the list. But Jem, we got to talk about number eight on this list. Teen Titans 12, especially after the King Robin news. And he's not even first appearing in this book. Can you explain? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of renewed interest in the Batman Who Laughs with the Dark Knight's Death Metal series. And then we have this book right here, like you mentioned. This is the first appearance of the Robin King. And it's kind of being speculated as... Another Batman Who Laughs first appearance is a Bruce Wayne in, in this twisted multiverse who ends up killing his parents, killing Alfred, and becoming the Robin King. So like I mentioned in the last videos, all this 
uh, renewed attention to the character is spiking up his first appearance in Teen Titan 12. Now you do weekly comic book reviews on your channel at Gemmin Collectibles, and I watched your review of this issue, and you didn't even bring up Robin King. What did you think about it? Yeah, you know what? Uh, thinking back, it was a good story. This book has a couple of short stories, but I was really more interested in the Batman hat and stuff. I, I wasn't really paying attention to the spec on Robin King. For me, it was just kind of like an okay short story. Well, it resonated enough with collectors and speculators, and it's pushing Teen Titans 12 to new grounds. We have three different records to report on this week, putting this at number eight on the list, starting with a record at $750 at 9.8, moving up to $775 at 9.8, and we end the week with a new record at $800. I think a lot of people just got happy. Yeah, this book is really starting to grow and it's breaking its own record with every new sale. So pretty awesome to see what it's doing. Looking at number seven on the list here, Jam, I'm thinking that you kind of foreshadowed what could happen to a comic book when those big keys, the ones that everyone's after, start to price themselves out. Do you remember the conversation about the poor man's Hulk 181? That may be applying here today. Of course, that's why you got to be subscribed to this channel and you have to watch this weekly top 10 list because I already said this in the last video. When these first appearances start selling for astronomical prices, people are going to start going to the next best thing. So now number seven on the list, we have Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number one. This is the first Miles Morales solo title. It's the first time he appears in the iconic black suit with the red webbing and red spider logo. And it's the second appearance of Miles Morales. Squeezing its way onto the list here is a monumental moment. This right here proves that Miles Morales continues to be the character spec of choice for 2020. And when you're seeing raw sales trending at $90 on average with a high sale at 9.8 hitting 800 for this book, man, Jem, we got to just keep watching this character and start speculating on other comics that may be more attainable for collectors. Yeah, we're going to have to start looking for the next best thing because $800 9.8s, a lot of people are going to be priced out of this one. This is typically reserved for like silver and bronze age books. This type of thing happening for a modern collectible is unheard of. Speaking of modern collectibles, number six on the list, we have Venom 3, the first appearance of Null, the third printing variant. Jam, this was at number two last week. Now it's at number six. Can you explain this movement? Yeah, it's not so much that this book isn't hot or it's not doing as well. It's just that there are so many other books that are taking its spot uh, with sales in the last week. This book is still at an average of $850 for 9.8, which is up significantly from where it used to be of a $350 average just a month ago. We were reporting the same price the same sales last week when sales were just as strong and that means as Jem said there are comic books that are rising above others so you got to stay tuned because this list is going to keep heating up we're seeing raw copies sold at an average of 425 dollars and the molina variant is reaching 550 dollars in a 9.6 it's hard to believe that this book is two years old. This very month, Jem, we got to be watching all of Donny Cates' hit character creations. And I'm talking Cosmic Ghost Rider. A lot of people starting to move their spec money to that. Thanos issue number 13. Expect to see Venom issue three, the first appearance of Null, cover A, continue to rise as we get closer to December. And shout out to Jim Comics over on YouTube for showing off his Cosmic Ghost Rider speculation, tagging me over on Instagram. All right, guys, number five on the list. It's a book that has stayed on this list for all the other episodes that we've done. This is Invincible Iron Man number nine. This is the Turcotte variant, uh, the first appearance of Riri Williams. All right, the full appearance of Riri Williams. We've been watching this variant very closely. Earlier last month, 9.6 is hitting an all-new high at $500, and we were anxiously awaiting a 9.8 to hit the market because the prior record was $1,100, and we knew it would be shattered with 9.6s going up in value. And we're here to report that after a week, oh my goodness, a 9.8 definitely hit the market, and it sold for $1,350. Raw copies are up slightly to an average of $275, while CGC 9.8 copies of the Diodato cover are down slightly at $425. Whoa, people are starting to move their interest to this Turcotte variant as we've been talking about over the last month. We got to follow it closely. 
just like number four on this list. We're talking about number four on the list, Star Wars Darth Vader Issue 3, the Salvador La Roca variant. This is the first appearance of Dr. Afra of Triple Zero and BT-1. You gotta love those assassin droids. Shout out to In The Strength Comics and Jeremy Hendrickson, both specking hard on Dr. Afra. This comic, we've been waiting to see what a 9.8 would hit for. A lot of hype right now with the Star Wars books. You have the Clone Wars 1 breaking all types of records. This book breaking records at $750 in a 9.8 on a recent Buy It Now sale. There is a lot of speculation that there's going to be some type of Dr. Afra show on Disney+. Plus following the success of The Mandalorian. Yeah, I think we have something that's happening for the first time in quite a long time, and that's the Star Wars fandom finding some type of unity here. The Mandalorian is a hit across all levels. All of the fans love it, and that's why so many of these Disney Plus shows are being speculated on. Typically, there's a lot of diversity in the fandom. There are a few Star Wars comics that are spiking right now. Some that we kind of speculated on ourselves before they even showed up on the list, like Star Wars 42, the first appearance of Boba Fett. And a good place to get all this information is going to be Key Collector app. That's right. Download Key Collector Comics, available on both Androids and iPhones. Use that code TOM101 to support the show, but also get a free one-week service to the full app. But check this out. I have some Dr. Afra news that is not available on Key Collector app, at least not yet. But Marvel has recently announced a Dr. Afra omnibus. Oh. Now you got to ask yourself, why would they be investing money into Dr. Afra? Why would they be printing this material if they're not gearing up for some more usage of the character? Something to think about. Whoa, number three on this list, Gem, mind-blowing. We have all new Marvel Now, point one, issue one, cover A, making its way on the list for the first time ever and for good reason. We were reporting on the McNevin variant, that one in 75, hitting crazy records, proving that Kamala Khan is now being one of the biggest spec of choice characters for 2020, hitting a staggering record of $3,750, pushing this cover A to record highs. And we saw a $500 sale at 9.8 this week. We were impressed. We thought it would probably move up to 600 and then just a couple days later it did. And then when we look again to just confirm that, well, a $700 sale. And now we're here to report Another all-time record before our our video even came out. $750 at 9.8, Jim. Dang. Meanwhile, uh, second printing, which the only difference is that Marvel Now red footer on the bottom is blue. That in a 9.8 hit a whopping $2,000. $2,000 for a second print. It's got to be because of scarcity. The cover's not more attractive or anything. It's the same interiors. We're going to have to watch a lot of these Kamala Khan books. Moving up from number three to number two on the list is Star Wars, The Clone Wars, number one. The first appearance of Ashoka Tano. And we're talking about the Dark Horse 100 variant by Dave Filoni. This was limited to only 1,000 copies, retailers only. And it has obliterated the previous record of $2,000 sales in a 9.8. This book had a private transaction sale of $3,450. An eBay sale of $3,363 and another new record of $3,800 for this first appearance. We've been saying it, that Ahsoka Tano is the character spec of choice for the Star Wars franchise and she's proving it right this week. And keep in mind, the 1,000 copies wasn't to 1,000 retailers. It was 100 retailers that got 10 copies each. We knew that 9.6 shattered that 9.8 record last month. Comic fam, that's why you need to hit the subscribe button because you know we're going to be here to keep you up to date. All right, everybody knows what the number one book is going to be on this list, but Tom, why don't you hit us with it anyway? We know Ultimate Fallout Issue 4 is going to make the list at some point, but which version? And this week marks a major change to the market. At number one here to report, Ultimate Fallout issue number four, the Dejevic variant, the one in 25, making the list at number one, the most wanted and specced on comic book in the world. We have a new 9.8 record exchanging in the private market at $9,000. That's a crazy sale in 9.8. Even the 9.6 copies are breaking records with a recent sale of $3,050.
And since we're on the Miles Morales subject, let's chat about the Mark Bagley Cover A original art going for an easy $100,000 this week. Jem, you can get original Kirby art for that amount. Would you ever spend that kind of money? Well, it's all relative. If you have Cover A selling for $1,000 and 9.8, the 125 ratio selling for $9,000, it would make sense to go for the most rare, most important piece of history regarding Miles Morales' first appearance. And that's the original cover art to Cover A. Comic fam, what do you think about this art sale? A hundred grand. What do you think about these books on this list? We want to hear from you. And if you comment down below, it'll enter you to win this Harley Quinn Poison Ivy number one, courtesy of Don McTeague. It's also signed by the cover artist. And we also have Michael Isere. We're going to be sending you this Marvel 2-in-1, courtesy of Alex Ross. Thank you so much for commenting. Awesome. If you guys own any of these books on this list, make sure to tag me and Tom on Instagram and we'll repost it on our stories and maybe show it in the next video. And as always, stay minty fresh and geek responsibly. Enough said. Yo, comic fam, you got a little over a week to join the mystery mail call to support the show, but also to get your Comic Tom exclusive only available in the box. And this month, every member gets a maestro number one. Have a great week, comic fam. See you soon. Did I have my Comic Tom hype up? <laughs>